In this video, we will continue with trigonometric graph sketching. You will find this on page 166 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Deduction from trigonometric graphs. The sketch shows the graphs of the functions, and I'm going to underline it for you. Oops. Uh, fx equals um, sin ax and gx equals cos. I think we must use different colors. It will also help. Um, bx for the interval 0 and it's only until. So always, it's almost like I would sometimes just put for myself there that it's just 180. Just, just in your mind, just remember it's just a half. Otherwise, you can confuse a little bit, especially if you have to start filling in the value of a and b. So remember, it's just a half. So um, from a, um, of a period. So the full one will be 2 pi or 360. So determine from the graphs the values of a and b. Okay, now look, let's stop there. How, where is the sin one starting? So I can see that this is the sine one. Okay. I can see from the sketch, because I can see it's 1, and I can just see it's, it's that they were changing the period. And that's the call. Okay. Now, it's always good, and this is what I'm trying to, to say to you here. Remember the normal one. The normal one will go until 2 pi. So if it's only up to here, it's actually not half, it's actually full, because up to 2 pi, it will be a full um, circle. So basically, um, I, I will just say it's just the normal one. So I can see that sin, will, the value of a will just be 1, because it's the normal one. It's the normal y equals sin x. So the value of a is just 1. But if I look at the cos, oh, I see, no, this is not the normal one. Because the normal cost one will be like this. And now the whole graph, the period, is just up to pi. So now the graph repeats twice, and that's why it's 2. So in a 360, so in, in a 2 pi, it would have done this. Oh, no, I would not be so good in that sketch now. <clears throat> but basically, it will be up. And then you up. So it's 2, and that's why the value of B is 2. Okay. So the graph repeats twice, so the value of B is 2. So don't forget now that I'm sitting with my 2. So the value, so this is, um, I'm going to write it in here. So this is Y is equal to sin X. And this one, the oh, FX, um, it's better that we call it FX. It makes a difference then between the two. So fx, and we call it gx equals cos 2x. <clears throat> okay, keep that in mind for this whole um, question now. Okay, let's look at number b. The period of f. Now remember, f is the red one. Now if you look, don't forget, what is period? Period is the length of the interval over which the, re the curve repeats itself. So basically, this curve will go up to there. So it will go up to 2 pi before it will start repeating itself. So what is the period of f? It's 2 pi. If they were asking, they did not ask you, what is the period of g x? then it would have just been pi. Because now, from there, the graph will start repeating itself. Okay, but they did not ask that. Then, the x-coordinate of a. Now, if you look at this picture, there is a. Now, this graph is always symmetrical, meaning that if I draw a line there, this half will fit onto this half. So, basically, the distance towards this point, and I'm... I'm going to make it a bit bigger that you see the graph better. Okay. So, so basically, this distance from zero to there will be the same as this distance from there. So if I must draw it in a color, I can say this distance, and if I bring that one down, 
will be the same as that distance. So I know that this one is pi over 6 or 1 6 pi. So I must just take pi 1 and I must subtract this 1 6 pi. So basically the point is symmetrical to the point A, this point. So I will just take pi, 1 pi, and I subtract this 1 over 6 pi. And then I will find that this point will be 5 over 6 pi. Okay, that will be that point. Okay, then now I move on. So the, the next question, so that was, okay, the x coordinate of A, very important. Check what they ask. This case, just the x, so you can just say 5 over 6 pi. If they ask the coordinate, then you had to work it out. But they did not ask that. Now, when this, and, and remember they're referring to this point, pi over 2. Minus, so if pi over 2, if it's on top, minus the g, okay, at the bottom, they ask you actually what is that, that distance. So it's that one plus that one, so it's actually 2. But you can say 1 minus that negative 1, but you will also end up at 2. So they ask the difference between the f and the g, g graph at that point. And then, the range of f in the given range, remember range is y values in the given interval. So what, if you look at, okay, don't forget, it's f, so it's the red one. So if you look here on the sketch, it's just going from 0 to 1. So basically, what will be the range? Let's just write it there, nicely down. So y is bigger than equal to 0 and smaller than equal to 1. Okay. The range of in the given interval. The values of x for which fx is bigger than gx. So where is f bigger? So if you look at this, I will see that f is it's the one that's on top. is always the big one. So where is the red one on top of the blue one? That's actually what I'm asking. Where is f bigger than g? And it will be from there, do you see there, 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 up to there. Okay, but they put an equal sign also, so I can say from there up to there. But how do I write it? Just show you. So where x is bigger than equal to 5 over 6 and smaller than equal to 5, uh, uh, 1 over 6 pi, and then here 5 over 6 pi. So that that two points. That's the beginning, that's the end. And I write it like that. But I read it to this side, and I read it to this side. So x is bigger than equal than pi over 6 and smaller than equal to 5 pi over 6. And then, the values of x for which this minus just... Now, if you see something like this, the best way, it's, it's, actually, saying, it's actually saying there where the distance is 0. But it's always better if you take that one over, like I did here, let me just show you. Then it's actually say where the graphs are equal to each other, because then the distance will be zero. And where will the graphs be equal to each other? Oh, there I, I did a nice picture also, so we can work on. So they will be equal here, and they will be equal here. Do you see that? Uh, I just want to see of if this line... You know, sometimes when I go through, oh, I see, I see a printing mistake. That arrow must just be a little bit smaller. Do you see it? Let me make it in red. I will also correct it in the next print. So that arrow must not go there. It must just be, I'm going to redo it. It must just be that. Okay, just that part. It, it must not stretch up to there. I see it now. Okay. But it's all right. In the second print or in the next print, I always try to correct everything. This is the first print. Okay. So where are they equal? That is just at 1 over 6 pi or 5 pi, um, pi over 6. Okay. Let's, I want you, let's, there, this was the end. We can just make it a bit smaller. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do uh, let's just do number one and number three. Number one is easy, number three is a, more, a bit more complicated, but excellent examples. So again, as soon as you did all the questions, you can continue the, uh, the video.
Let's start. Number one. The diagram shows the graph y equals a sin bx plus c and uh, up to two. It's very important. Always think that that is actually the normal uh, one. So find the values of a, b, and c. Now, if you look at this, first you can see it's sin. Yes, you can see. But you can see that it was transformed a little bit. It went a little bit higher. There is the middle line. Do you see that? So actually, it's good if you, you see that. Just, so it's 9 minus 3. What will that be? 6. And then let's just test if it will be 6 also to this side. Yes, it will be 6. So if I'm, I must go and I must work it out, I can already say that, okay, that is the middle. So if that in it goes 6, 6. So I can already see that this value here, it will be 6, because the total is 12. So 12 divided 2, then the amplitude will be 6. Now I must see how many times it repeat. Now I can see it's 1 and it's 2. Can you see? If you focus on this line there, up to there it was 1, then it starts again 2. So it, it repeats 2 times. So if it repeats 2 times, then this value of B will be 2. And then the value of C is how many units was it moved up? It was moved up three units. If it was moved down, it would be negative three. So therefore, I can say the value of A is six. Uh, the value of B is two. And the value of C is three. Uh, if you struggle a little bit with these questions, I want you to go back to this, I'll show you where, where we did the investigation and where we were writing the summary. I, I'm going forward, not backwards, sorry. I want to just to let you go back there. No, I think it's a little bit in front. Okay, yeah. Here we were doing the investigation. So it actually starts there. You can just look at that investigation. The whole one, if you press on that QR, you will see the whole investigation. And then this is the summary. And this will help you a lot. So always go back to this table. And then just look there. So this was sin. This is the value of A. Uh, that's the amplitude. That's the value of B, which is the period, and that is the value of C, which is the y-intercept. Okay, so um, basically you can just go and just get a few informations there. Okay, so the value of C, I said it moved up, but you could also say that it, it moved up, up 3, but... but that's why it's cutting there at 3 and not at 0. So it's actually the value of, of y, the y-intercept there. Okay, let's do number 3. Number 3 is quite challenging again. And always if it's in radians, it's a little bit more challenging. So the function f and g are defined by f. Okay, now I, I like to use a little bit of colors here. Uh, what will be my, let's keep great f. So where is my sin there? I can see. You must know your basic shapes. And again, you see this is one and half. It's for me very good if you would always continue a sketch until 2 pi. It's not there, but always work with 2 pi. So that will, that will just help you. Just want to. Oh, come on. My graph was just not round enough for me. I think it's still not round. Okay, so always just that you see the whole picture until 2 pi. Uh, so that's f, and then g, I think we made it blue in the previous one, and I can see it's down 1. I know my general shapes. Okay, again, if I must continue this graph uh, here, I will say that if I'm going to, this one was now going up, and then it would have been starting there again. Okay, but the one, the one was there, 
was in in was exactly the side was the correct one because if you if you go back back to um, this would have been like that if you go to the basic one and I'm going to take you back there you have to know that pictures um, I'm taking you back to the normal tan one yes here it is I'm taking you back can you see this is a normal one there. Um, in terms of pi, this will be pi and this will be 2 pi. So it's a normal one. And, and because we know there, it's stopping at 270. But this, this part will then just be, let me just see if I was doing it correctly then. Okay, yes, that part was just messy. Okay, uh, so that, first before you start with the question, Get the picture, already have a few, you can already see that uh, this is negative, can you see? It's swapped around, it's reflecting in the x-axis, um, and it's both for that intervals. And, and they try to catch you out by ma not making it pi or 2 pi, but don't, don't let they ca them catch you out. The diagram show the curves intersects at O, A and B. So O, A and B. Okay, then find the coordinates of T, uh, where is T? The turning point of the curve Fx. Oh, there is T. Okay. So, now I can just look at my normal. Because there's a 2, I know that this will be negative 2. Okay. So, if I must just then go and find... So, I'm working with this. Okay, let's just get my number 3. Okay. So, I know that it's pi over 2, so t, it's pi over 2, the x value, and then the y value will be negative 2. And how do I know that? It's due to the fact that there is a 2. Okay. If there was a 3, then it would have been negative 3. Okay. Uh, now, that's finished. Number B. Write down the period, oh, and don't let them catch you out. That's why you see the whole sketch of GX. Now, if you look at G, what was G? It was the blue one. I said, if you continue this until 2 pi, and I think my blue line was fine. I just had to go up to there, okay, because there's my 2 pi. Okay, I just stopped there. Then it was a normal one. So a normal one, the period, it's when is the graph repeating, it's, if you say one and a half minus a half, it's one. So it's one pi. So it's repeating the period. Uh, therefore, a period. Oh, let's just keep it to yellow. The period of Gx is pi. Okay. Okay. Then, or um, if it was in degrees, 180 degrees. Or write down the period of Gs. Write down the range of Fx. Okay, now remember, we are with the rate again, so don't get confused. So if you just have a pen and a pencil, make one in pencil, one in pen um, in the exams, but don't get confused. Write down the range of F. Now, if you look at the range, it's, it's the y values, it's negative 2 to 2. So the range... of fx and its y is bigger and equal to negative 2 and smaller and equal to 2. Okay, let's look at number d. If a has the coordinates this, now do you see where is a? There is a, it's, it's a little bit upper, okay? This is the coordinate. Write down the coordinates of b. Now remember just like the example, this is symmetrical. So this part is symmetrical to this part. So basically, if I go, and I'm, um, am I in green? No. This distance will be the same if I go here as this distance. This is exactly the same. So I can basically find that distance. Now, how do I find that? Now, it's almost like, say this is the number 8 and this is the number 6. And I ask you, what is that difference or distance? Then you will say, 8 minus 6, that's 2. So now I will just say, pi, 
I know this point A. What is the point A? Let's just write it down. It's 2. Let's make it 2 thirds pi. I think you will recognize that better. And, and the y value is negative 3. So we first just focus on this value. I have pi there and I have 2 thirds pi. So if I want to find that distance, I just subtract it. So I'm just going to say uh, distance. Okay, let's just write it nice. Distance from pi. And that is A, distance from pi. So I take the pi and I subtract that two thirds. Then now it's easy because it's one minus two thirds. And that then it's easy to see, okay, that's one third pi. So basically, this is one third pi. So this will also be one third pi. Do you see? But now I just add it with because I'm moving on. It's like I'm at, at 8 and I move on two units, then I'm at 10. So I'm going to add it now. So I'm going to say distance to B and what will I do now? I will just take pi because that coming from there and I will add that one third pi. And that one, so it's, it's, it's just going to be one and a third. So it's going to be one and a third pi. So that, I already know this point. I already know it's going to be one and a third pi or four over three pi. It doesn't matter. And now I know that this, if I'm telling you, and I'm, I'm just going to clean this because I need to know a little bit another uh, one. If I'm telling you that, oh, no. I think I'm going to just need a ruler. If I'm telling you that this one, this one, is negative by 3, that meaning that distance, then it will mean that this, this, the, oh, again my ruler is gone. Let's use a ruler. Okay. Now we can go normal again. That this one, if this was negative, then this will be positive for the y value. And that's why this one is positive. Okay. Uh, not the third, square root of 3. So, so the y coordinate of A, I, if I want to write it out, I can say y, oh, what is my level is to just move a little bit up. Y coordinate of A Y coordinate is negative square root 3 so Y coordinate of B is positive square root Okay, so therefore, I can end off by saying therefore, O or E night of B. And what was that point? It was 1 and a third pi, comma, square root 3. And that's all. So I still work with distance, distance. Distance, distance, because this is symmetrical to this, and that's how I do.